All right, good evening, folks. I'm just ch chiming in with you really quick. This is Dewan Hoddles, and it is evening here, Thursday evening. And I wanted to bring to your attention uh, a crypto bill is being passed or has been passed uh, through a congressional committee in a victory for the industry. This is per Reuters. So there is a cryptocurrency bill that's been passed through Congress, and that bill is looks like it's going to make its way up to uh, the White House, where hopefully it can become law. Now, from what I understand, this bill is going to help create some regulatory framework for cryptocurrencies. And from what I understand, it's going to be either cryptocurrency in broad spectrum it will be considered a commodity or will be considered a security. We've seen the SEC has already set the tone and also has been very vocal that they believe that everything except for Bitcoin are securities. And so everything came to a head after uh, they've regulated Binance. They've regulated several other exchanges. They've put regulation on or they've uh, put a list of other altcoins that they deem to be uh, securities and their most recent, I think what it led up to was their regulation on Coinbase. Okay, so this is all coming to a head. And the reason for it ultimately is to protect investors from what they're saying is because of the FTX debacle, the three, uh, I think it's three capitals, uh, all of these institutions Celsius that have caused investors to lose tons of money. They also, I, and I, I want to, I want to throw this in, is all of these DeFi protocols that have been cracked, hacked, and uh, people have lost tons and tons of money over the past 24 months. And so it says the bill passed by the House Financial Services Committee would define when a cryptocurrency is a security or commodity. It will expand the Commodity Futures Trading Commission's oversight of the crypto industry while clarifying the Securities and Exchange Commission's jurisdiction. So it will bring more clarity to what the SEC has jurisdiction on when it comes to crypto. If people have been claiming overreach, so this will bring clarity on whether or not they were overreaching or not. Uh, it will bring clarity over, um, it will uh, extend the oversight of the Commodity Futures Exchange Commission. And um, so we're getting closer to a crypto law in the U.S., now, um, we've seen that other countries, Singapore, Australia, uh, even Brazil, uh, Brazil most recently, they're actually uh, ahead of U.S. when it comes to regulating cryptocurrency. U.K. as well has already regulated cryptocurrency. The U.S. needs to get out in front and find out what they want to do with this. Uh, Bitcoin's already considered a commodity um, as there's ETFs applications that are pending right now for approval. And uh, we'll see how uh, these altcoins are going to be seen. If these altcoins are securities, they're going to have to, uh, all investors will have to be under SEC protection, meaning that um, either they're either uh, pretty much they're just going to have to bring clarity. Uh, these altcoins would have to be transparent and have to do disclosures um, about their um, investment or their, their, their tokens. And that means that. Uh, we know how that goes. Uh, a lot of these altcoins don't have a uh, real world use case or they're not creating products or services that bring in a revenue per se. So if they have to fit inside of that frame based on this bill, uh, we could see a total wipeout of this market um, or we could see Bitcoin dominance, I think, go near 100%. Let me know what you think.